Chapter 3, Lesson 1, Add and Subtract Decimals Example 1, find the sum of 34.2 and 6.4. So the most important thing when adding and subtracting decimals is to line up the decimals. So we know that sum means we're finding the addition of 34.2 and 6.4. So we're going to set it up and we're going to line up the decimals and then just add like you regularly would. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. 3 plus 1 is 4. And then remember to always bring down the decimal. So the sum is 40.6. Example 2. Find the sum of 38.7 and 12.3. So again, we know that sum means we're going to be adding these two numbers. So let's line up our decimals. 38.7 plus 12.3. 7 plus 3 gives us 10. Carry over the 1. 8 plus 2 gives us 10. 1 more gives us 11. 3 plus 1 plus 1 gives us 5. And then we have to bring down the decimal. So 51.0 is the same as just 51. Pause the video here and try these yourself to check for understanding. Then when you're finished, press play to check your answers. Example 4. Find the difference of 7.5 and 5.64. So the difference means that we're going to be subtracting. So we still have to line up the decimals. So we have 7.5 minus 5.64. Now in this empty space, we can add a zero to fill in the empty space and line up all the numbers. Now we're going to subtract. 0 minus 4, we're going to have to make this a 10 and borrow from the 5. 10 minus 4 gives us 6. 4 minus 6, again, we're going to borrow. 14 minus 6 gives us 8. And 6 minus 5 gives us 1. And we got to bring down the decimal. So the difference of 7.5 and 5.64 is 1.86. Example 5. Find the difference of 15 and 3.345. So 15, we don't see a decimal, so if we don't see a decimal, that means that it's a whole number and the decimal is at the end of the number. So when we line this up, we have 15 and then we'll put that decimal there so we know to line up our 3 right with the 5. Now we can add 3 zeros so that we can fill in the blank spaces. So now we're going to need to borrow for all of these zeros. So I'm going to borrow from the 5 to make this a 10. And now we're going to need to borrow from here, so that becomes 9, to make this a 10. Borrow from here to make this a 10. So now we have 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 4 gives us 5. 9 minus 3, 6. 4 minus 3, 1, and now this one we can just bring down, bring down the decimal. So our answer is 11.655. Pause the video here and try these yourself to check for understanding. When you're finished, press play to check your answers.
Example 6. Ronald is going on vacation. He drove 57.89 miles, then stopped for lunch. After lunch, he drove 74.32 miles before reaching his destination. How many miles did he drive in total? So he drove 57.89 miles before lunch, 74.32 after lunch. So to find how much he drove in total, we're going to have to find the sum of these two numbers. So we're going to line up our decimals and add them together. So 9 plus 2 gives us 11. 8 plus 3 plus 1, that gives us 12. 7 plus 4 plus 1 gives us 12. And then 7 plus 5 plus 1 gives us 13. And then we carry down the decimal. So in total, he drove 132. 0.21 miles. Try this one yourself to check for understanding.